everyone and welcome back to another video. I have seen many people do a what's inside their pencil case video. Probably so people can see what type of pens they're using, why they're using it, how they are and where you can get them from. But I'm not just a generic person guys and I don't just have one pencil case, I have four plus I've got pens over there pens over there on my desk and pens underneath my desk so I'm doing really well for pens I'm just gonna point that one out but yes these are my four main pen pencil cases and these are also the pens that I mostly use apart from my little pen pot which is just over just over there which is, I probably won't try and pick up because it will go everywhere so yes, these are the pens that I use on a daily or weekly basis. So let's start with this one, just because it's new. As you can see, just from doing this and this, I do watch Dan and Phil. They are YouTubers um, and I've been watching them, oh gosh, since I very, start, very first started secondary school. So some time now. And of course I have both of their pencil cases just because who doesn't need more stationery? And quite frankly, I don't. So I always need it. In this one, I have a range of coloured biros. Okay, it's a little random just having coloured biros in here. I've got, yeah, colours from all, all under the sun, but mostly I have red and green. And there's a reason for this. At the time of sorting out my pencil cases at the very start at the very start of my stationary journey, I was at school and I needed red and I needed green for marking. And this hasn't changed. I have carried on studying even though I'm currently out of I was the same main education. I currently study using online courses at home. I'm not actually going to a you know a specific institution. I still need to mark stuff, so it's very easy to not have to flick through, you know, a thousand and one different pencil cases. Just to have one pencil case specifically for coloured biros um, and marking equipment. Just so if I need to underline or mark anything, I have it right here. So this is pencil case number one. Moving on to Dan and Phil number two. This is my bullet journal pencil case. So in here I have my Wilco's fine liners. I have my Artline sticks. So if I can get, let's try and get all of these out without breaking anything. Which I don't think is actually going to be possible. So I've managed to cram a lot in this one. See, so yeah, you can see how big this is. It's not even big, it looks tiny when you just hold it. It's, a, it's almost like a TARDIS. So, yes, I have all of those, plus I have a ruler in there, which I don't think you can see. Yeah, you can, just slightly. You can see my light reflecting off of it. I've got a couple of mechanical pencils, and I have my Tombow Food and Noscape for outlining. So that is in my Dan and Phil number two pencil case. Yes, yeah, so everything I need for my bullet journal goes in here just so I can, if I am bullet journaling, which I often do either on my desk or on my bed, I can just, you know, pick it up and, and move it whenever I need to. My third one is my biggest and my most used. And this is my Overwatch one. For all those who don't know, Overwatch is a Blizzard game. Um, it is a PvP, first person shooter kind of... Yeah, it's a first person shooter game where you take on characters. This one is called Tracer, who is the character that I play the most. Hence why I've got this Overwatch thing. So. This is my everyday kind of, well, stationery. 
pen, pen, pen and pencil case. In the back here, I have got a lot of just normal generic pens. This is all blue and black ink, apart from this one here, because it's got four colours. But yes, all the rest of them are blue and black. I have got nice fancy ones here. I've got generic as the ballpoint pens. I've got a jelly roll jelly rollable. Let's try that one again. So yeah, just a range. And yes, don't don't be fooled. This one may look red on the outside, but it's actually black ink. Um so yeah, this is simply just for casual writing. And I take this with me whenever I'm studying. So that is section number one. And as you can probably guess, if this is a generic standard pencil case, here we go. Here are all my normal pencils. I've got pencils, I have a sharpener in here, a ruler, and I have leftover spare leads for my mechanical pencils. So yeah, normal bulk standard, nothing special. It's just this was my biggest pencil case and obviously I have a lot of pens. So that is that one. Okay, now moving on to this beauty. Look how shiny it is. I love this one. Definitely brightens up the old day. Now, this pencil case was very kindly gifted to me by Go Stationery. And it's quite handy, actually, because this arrived just as the time as I was sorting things out and reorganising, and I needed a I needed a home for pens that didn't quite fit anywhere else. I needed a home for pens that are quite they're quite special pens. So for me that's fountain pens, I don't usually off I don't use them that often. Um multicolour pens, things that you know, things that don't really just fit in a generic biro or a fine line fine liner kind of thing. So let me open this up. So yes, as you can see, I've got all my very cute decorative <laughs> branded things. I've got my Disney one, Sim Sims, Sum Sum. I'm, I'm really not sure how you're meant to pronounce that. Let me know down in the comments if you know. So yes, my Disney, I'm going with Sum Sum. Yep. I've got my Paper Chase multicoloured pen. I've got my Santoro gorgeous multicoloured pen. I have, guys, I have way too many fountain pens, but someone who doesn't actually use these on a daily basis, I have way too many of them. These are all, <laughs> these are all fountain pens. Got one more, I think, hiding in here. Yeah, there we go. And okay, I think we're good. That is, that is all, all ones I own. Then I've got my, now these make my handwriting look lovely. That's why they're in here. These are special pens. I use these for things like birthday cards. Same with this gorgeous gel pen. I've got this crystal biro. And I also have a silver metallic pen. So yes, I've got a bit like an itsy bitsy odd kind of pencil case. But I wouldn't have it any other way because I only use these on special occasions. Or well, like, for example, this one, or my paper chase one. If I'm going away on holiday and I need stationery with me, I can just take one of these. Because they have, there we go, they have all the colours under the sun that you need. So just, you know, saves packing a lot. See, hence why it's a, this is my special pencil case, because it has all my... All my little nicks and knacks in there, I guess we could call them. So yeah, these are, if I can just bring them all back. These are all four of my pencil cases. And there we go. Yes, yeah, so not exclusive to all the pens that I own. I own quite a few, quite a proud owner of many pens, but these are the four pencil cases that I use and the pens I use the most often. So, 
if you like this video don't forget to like and comment down below and if you have any questions about the pencil cases or the pens that I own inside of them again please don't be afraid to ask I'd love to talk to you but that just about sums everything up the, this is some may say a scary amount of stationery that I own but I'm quite happy with it I use it all they all have love mm -hmm. they all have my equal love so I'm happy with that but until next time, bye guys.